Good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? Glad to hear it. Sorry I've been away for a while. I have been blogging about cute Japanese cartoon characters. <laughs> what I mean is, I have started drawing in a style called kawaii, which is the Japanese word for cute, so. I inherited some stuff from my mother, who shall remain unnamed. <laughs> I got her beautiful green eyes, her smile, her sense of humor and her round ass. Sadly though, I inherited my father's um, upper body. So I started going along with my husband when he grocery shops. Yeah, I feel like we women, we stick to a grocery list. We even take inventory of what we need before leaving the house. Men on the other hand, will shop without a list and come home with five packs of toilet paper, a case of beer and six bags of chips. So I'm worried. I may be going through early menopause. I recently watched an Amazon commercial, and I cried for an hour afterward. <laughs> and sometimes, I wake up at four in the morning, all sweaty and uncomfortable. Damn it. <laughs> but with all the hot flashes and mood swings, I'm going to dehydrate. And if I don't drink more water, I may even look like a California raisin. <laughs> so I'm not really a camping person. The very idea of being in a tent with all those creepy insects, not to mention bears, wolves, fires, oh and creepy insects. <laughs> I think I may be officially addicted to sugar. I have tried to cut back. But I just can drink coffee or eat pastries without that element of sweet. Now my liver and kidneys are like, girl, what happened between us? I thought we had something special. <laughs> so you know, for a gift, most girls get an easy bake oven at some point in their young lives. Somehow I only got an easy wrinkle forehead. It's true. At my age, I am actually scared to raise my eyebrows and surprise to anything. <laughs> so, I've heard it said that good comedians tell stories about their personal lives. So in 1987, my mom and dad met. They got jiggy with it. I was born. I went to school. I met people. I graduated. Anyway, I have been doing professional comedy for a while now, and I would like to honor one of the comedians who has inspired me. His name is Mitch Hedberg. He passed away a few years ago at a young age, but he was one of the best. So here is a clip of one of his routines. So my friend said to me, I think the weather is trippy. I said, no man, it's not the weather that's trippy. Perhaps it's the way that we perceive it. That is indeed trippy. <laughs> then I thought, man, I should have just said yeah. Mitch touched a lot of lives with his own. I wonder if he ever knew how much he meant to others. Anyway, I'm going to finish with one last joke about coffee. At least I gave you some warning. <laughs> so I wish that Tim Hortons delivered. If they did, I could call them and be like, Hey man, I want some donuts. And they'd be like, Cool. Where do you live? Well that's it for tonight. I have to go lie down. I'm lazy. <laughs> You're wonderful. <laughs>